windy here in uh, Texas. I mean, really windy. And who's that? It's a muffler man. You see that? He's really cool looking. He is, he is. Wow. Second Amendment. circus room what kind of place is pool tournament you got to go through the clown's mouth to get in I don't know especially out here in in Texas I think I'll pass on that one it's a huge muffler man the second amendment, amendment. Wow howdy partner howdy partner <laughs> Of course, we're in Texas, and we're here at the Cadillac Ranch, yes! These ones are the, the good ones. They're not planted into the ground, but we're gonna go out and see, well, the famous ones. I guess he's a rootin' tootin' shootin' cowboy, Yeehaw! Here are some Cadillacs that are not buried. Look at them, that's what those Cadillacs would look like if they weren't buried and they had all their glass. What? There's Don, John Wayne. John Wayne in there. Did you John see Wayne? John Wayne? Yeah, Wayne. yeah, <laughs> that's that's crazy. And then you got this uh, caddy over here. Uh oh, who's that? Is that Willie? It's Willie Wh Nelson. It's Willie Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, what are you doing at Cadillac Ranch? I know Willie likes Cadillacs, but I didn't realize he was hanging out here at the ranch. Then here's a pink caddy. Look at those fins. Beautiful, beautiful. Who's over here? That's that's Elvis. Is that Elvis? Hey Elvis, the king. Hey king. <laughs> that's the king. Holy neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got a little uh, gift shop and they also have an RV park here. They actually have a Cadillac inside here. Look at that. Up against the wall. A pretty cool little gift store in here. Of course, we got another hat pin. Look at that. That one's the Cadillac Ranch. I've been growing quite the the collection up there. My hip, my head. <laughs> it's windy here, but the Cadillacs are actually located down the road uh, from the visitor center. So we're gonna take a short drive down there and check them out. They even paint the road. Famous Cadillac, Cadillac Ranch. My dad so bad wanted to see this himself. We're gonna check it out. Just some old Cadillacs sticking out of the ground. Bring a lot of people out to a very windy Texas field. <laughs> it's pretty windy, huh? Yeah. yeah, there's pretty much gobs and gobs of spray paint on these old caddies. <laughs> that is really cool. They've painted everything. Look at it, how it just drips. It just drips off. <laughs> he had a green paint. He got some spray paint? Yeah. Oh boy. Plus jungle green. <laughs> Dawn's got spray paint. <laughs> Is that Will? <laughs> yeah. There's my name going on there. <laughs> Dawn's a graffiti artist. And we made our mark. Will and Dawn was here. Will and Dawn <laughs> were here. I like how you did that outline in white. It turned out really good.
here's the back headrests, and there's I think it's a steering wheel or something. I don't know. Look at the, look at the paint just dripping off. Look. At, <laughs> they even paint the poor crops out here. <laughs> they paint everything. Don, they paint everything. No, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty windy here in Texas, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one fifth of the world's paint is right here. At the, <laughs> a lot of paint. What'd you think about Cadillac Ranch? Was it was neat. <laughs> All right, well, we're on our way. The giant arrow. <laughs> Look at that. I know you can find a lot of these arrows on Route 66. Magnolia Station, established in 1924. Beautiful little town of Vega here. Just a, about a block long. Very, very sleepy. But it's got this beautiful gas station over here. And this is a Magnolia Petroleum Company station. It's actually a really, really cool old gas station. You'd pull right up here and, and get your gas. And Texas 66. Oh, pretty cool. Vega is home to the world's largest branding iron. <laughs> Look at that. I definitely wouldn't want to be branded by that. that would, would hurt. <laughs> well, there'd be nothing left of ya. <laughs> we have done it. Yes. We are exactly halfway between Chicago and Los Angeles, California. Look at Welcome to Adrian, Texas, Los Angeles and Chicago are 1,139 miles away. This is the official halfway point. See, midpoint. Oh. Yes, we are here. Wow, all these days and we're only halfway. Midpoint on 66. And we're out here in this beautiful, beautiful countryside here. The Midpoint Cafe, serving folks that are hungry well, halfway on their trip. You got pie faced? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get pie faced because they're closed. Yes, it's a Tuesday afternoon and, and they're closed. It's hoping for a bite to eat. It's like one of the cars, cars, Don. You see that? Yeah, it's an old Ford, an old Crown Vicky. That was really cool. Yes. Midpoint Cafe. We're halfway through our journey on our way to Los Angeles to Santa Monica Pier. And uh, uh, there's a lot of great things we've seen already. Of course, we're going to be going into some very beautiful landscapes going through the desert and into California. I'm reflecting on a lot of things that my dad wanted to see. The things that he told me about on this trip of course a lot of them are gone and some of them are still here and some of them are not open <laughs> but uh in the pandemic a lot of these stores decided to close up because they just don't have the business so well we got 1139 miles to go we got a little diner there well it's seen better days so cool to see though. We're here in Glen Rio. This is the last town before or at the beginning of Texas, depending on how you look at it. The state line is just over there, but we've made it. We are going to be now in New Mexico. Yay. Yay. Glen Rio is a little abandoned town and it's literally here on the border of Texas and New Mexico. In fact, the state line is just just over here there's a little survey marker new mexico to the left and texas to the right so right about here is the the state line right through here 
You're in you're in New Mexico. Yep. Hi. You're in Texas. <laughs> and I'm in Texas. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. -hoo. New Mexico is now our next state, and uh, we'll open this up again when we hit Arizona. Sign. Here's an old mobile gas station here. Ranch House Cafe, Mexican foods. Love that old truck. We are here in Tucumcari and we're going to have lunch at the La Cita restaurant. It's very <laughs> iconic restaurant. You'll see postcards and everything on it. And then later on, we're going to check into the Blue Swallow. Yes, we did get a night stay at the Blue Swallow. And we're going to show you that too. La Cita Mexican Foods. And check this out. There's a huge sombrero on this building. You see that? Yeah, I see it. That, that is really, really cool. You see a lot of postcards and stuff of this building. It's very iconic. Well, let's head in and see see what it's about. And here's their menu here. They got quesadillas and nachos. I think I'm gonna get those nachos. But anyways, they got carne asada, enchiladas, tacos. The prices seem to be right. Tamales. They also have fajitas. They also have all sorts of burritos, and they even have a grill in here. Hamburgers and fries. And we got some salsa some chips Ooh. and here are my nachos look at that it's huge and then you got what a quesadilla uh, chicken quesadilla it looks good it really does look good yes we're here at tp churros look at this guys this is really really awesome it's it's a teepee non mm -hmm. yes oh wow of course that neon probably lights up beautiful at night wait a second we're gonna be here tonight so we get to see it all lit up. Yes, we are. Yes. Oh, yeah. What is that thing in the back of the truck? I don't know. Let's go check that out. And what is that? Uh, oh, Kidoki. He, look, he looks pretty scary, don't he? He looks scary. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's got a sword on and he's got some... There's like some red on it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I eat. you don't think he's Lucifer, or, you know. I like to think not. I, I would not think not, too. Well, there he is. Really, really unique. Unique little stop here. Oh, really cool salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, oh, they even got a, of course, you get yourself an old rattlesnake or. <laughs> yeah, there's a model of what the store looks like. <laughs> they have a Desert Hills Motel, uh, the Munger Moss, and we've stayed there. And then we're gonna be staying at the Blue Swallow. That's a really cool little gift shop here. Of course, I got another pin for the hat. This is one of, well, the shop here. What do you think? It's cute. That is cool. Well, it's got an airplane out front to lure folks in. The Palomino Motel. Cute little hotel here with its turquoise and pink. check into the blue swallow look at that you ready Don <laughs> okay this is an actual motor court it's got its original garages it's really cool very very unique 
What do you think about this? It's really cute. It is. It's definitely all original historic. Yeah, this one here has got some signs and of course I got some bikes. So this here is the community room. Oh, look at the original refrigerator. Yeah, 1940s refrigerator and everybody gets to use this. And it actually works. Oh wow, look at that. You got the freezer down below? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I wouldn't be using that. Well, that's a freezer right here, actually. Oh, oh freezer. <laughs> Her name is Lois, right? <laughs> this is the kind of refrigerator kids can get trapped in. Please be sure to close tightly. Yeah, make sure you don't get the kids trapped in there, Dawn. <laughs> it's got a little microwave. They still got bug spray in case there's any bugs out and about. Then they have a washer and dryer. And it looks like that's like free of charge, actually. So if you got any laundry, tis the season. Okay, so it is $5 per load. Intergent included. But I think we're good with laundry right now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. An easy rider themed one. Definitely classic. They even play the music in the background. There's room 14 and 15 here on the end. So there's 15 rooms in total. This one here looks like it's like neon from and this one here has some of the iconic neon. That is really, really cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I have to check it out tonight because we are staying here tonight, which means we get to see all the neon. Nice little place to sit out here and relax at night, maybe soak in some of the neon. Number three. Well, let's check this out. Oh wow! Look at that that spread, that bedspread. Yeah, it's got flowers on it. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's got, it's a, got a nice little chair. little chair. It's not real big. Well, look at the lamps. Definitely, definitely cool. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about this little little it's gem? Cute for tonight. The owners were real kind to take us a tour through there. They were saying that. The furniture in here is an original original furniture and it was made here in New Mexico like the like the desk over there is and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not it's not real big. It's not real big. Oh look at the ice bucket. <laughs> but uh yeah, just uh really cool. Now let's go check out the the bathroom is all original. Look at that. Toilet and sink, guys. Wow. It's very, very clean. It smells really, really good in here. And this is owned by a very nice couple. Very, they were welcoming. They told us that they are from Chicago originally. Look at the, look at the shower. Look at the, <laughs> the original handles and yeah, that's cool. Here's the toiletries there, huh? They even got a phone. Hello. Oh, it's got an original, like, old-time phone. Does it work? I think so. Well, don't be, you're dialing someone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just dialing. So this is a very small room, but it's very nice. It's very nice, very clean. If it's not pee or poo or TP2, please don't flush it down the loo. <laughs> <laughs> it's got these old light switch covers, and uh, yes, it's definitely uh, pretty much the way it Screams 1940s. And our garage has cars theming. <laughs> Look at that. Of course, we did park the the 300 in 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 the garage. It's parked. It's got its own. It's got its place to sleep tonight, doesn't it? I've been editing for a few hours, and I bet you it's beautiful out there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Blue Swallow Court. They say this is the best neon 
on all of Route 66 here, here. And the sun is just setting. And at one time, on both sides of the road would have been nothing but old classic hotels. Uh, they thinned out over the years, but there's a few that remain. Even the uh, water fountain over here has got a unique uh, glow to it. That's something. Dawn, what do you think about this? I'm really beautiful. It is beautiful, Does isn't it? See it all lit up? Yeah. The blue swallow. That is that is really sweet. There's a little arrow, you see that up there? Underneath the overhang? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anything even more beautiful than that. I know, it's impressive. Yeah, and we're getting bit up by mosquitoes. <laughs> she said they're banned in the desert, and I was like, what? Mosquitoes in a desert with no water? That makes sense. Yeah, there's, there's mosquitoes. Like the new improved mosquitoes. That is one crazy bike. <laughs> I didn't see this earlier. Clint Eastwood stayed here in 1959. Well, it's definitely seen better days, but huh. Oh, Clint Eastwood was here. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> what do you think about that, Don? It's amazing. Well, really need to see it at, like, at night lit up. Yeah. You know what that means? What? We're going to have to come back and do Route 66 one day, just that night. At night. We're going to do Route 66 at night. And sleep in the daytime. <laughs> sleep in the daytime. <laughs> That's crazy. We had quite the day today. We left Texas and we got to see Cadillac Ranch and we went into New Mexico. What do you about it so far? So far so good. Yes. We also did the halfway point on the mother road. So we're halfway done with our adventure. And then we ended up here in Tucumacari, here at the Blue Swallow. It's a beautiful sign. It is, guys. That's going to do it for tonight. Guys, we love you and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.